Hello world, welcome back to Razer RC. Doing another review today of another charger. Seems like I've been doing a lot of chargers lately. Uh, but Banggood sent me this, the Sky RC B6 Lite. So this is a tiny little charger. Um, for comparison, you can see that's my LiPo there. And they sent this out to me for review. And this is kind of a, a charger in the series of other chargers um, that have been coming out over the last year or so. So kind of like a mini or micro charger. Just gonna do a little unboxing first of all. Here's the manual. Let's zoom out a little bit. Here's a very simple manual. Uh, operating, you just connect it, insert the charger, and then I guess you charge. Not a whole lot to say. So the cool thing about these are they are high power, 220 watts, up to 13 amps. Now, of course, a 6S battery at 25 volts is not going to be able to do 13 amps. You basically divide the watts by the voltage, and I'll tell you the max amps. But that is still very, very high. 220 watts is quite a bit for a charger. And so, uh, yeah, they sent this out to me for review. Uh, this sells for about $50 on Banggood. Um, prices kind of vary a little bit at the time of this video. It is $45. And, uh, you know, I think it goes up to maybe even $55. But quite inexpensive, quite high powered, and uh, quite small also. But for comparison, I mean, it's about the size of a LiPo. Pretty tiny little battery. Um, and quite inexpensive. So here's a little charge cable. It does take XT60, so you will need some sort of XT60 plug. Um, this is the output in the balance port up to 6S. Here's the input, and that's pretty much it. It's got a little fan on the back, um, but small little charger, a lot of power, quite inexpensive, and uh, that's what you get in the box. Now the downside, for these types of chargers. So there's also like an eye charger, a little mini charger. Um, ISDT also makes a little charger. Uh, but the downside to all these little micro chargers is that you will need an external power supply to power these things. There is no power supply inside, so it runs off of DC only. Um, but yeah, so let's uh, take a look at how to use it. Okay, so we got everything plugged in. So I've got my RL power power supply. This is a 900 watt power supply. Uh, obviously has DC output. I did have to grab another cable to uh, plug into my charger so it does not come with a cable. You will have to supply your own with an XT60 uh, female connector. And then the charge cable did come with, I modified to put on an EC5 connector because that's what I run, EC5s. Uh, it comes with an XT60. And then you also have to provide your own balance board. So out of the box, you definitely need to grab some other cables and stuff um, just to get this thing to work. So a bit of a downside there. I did, I do wish they came with some more cables. But I'm going to show you how to use it. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in my power supply there. So it boots up, tells you the version number 1.02 of the software that's running. And then this is the display. It tells you the battery type, the cell count, uh, what type of mode it's in current it's set to, uh, voltage the battery is at, and then how many milliamp, hour, milliamp hours it's actually uh, charged into the battery. And then it's got a little indicator to tell you what the battery is at. So one annoying thing about this charger is it always resets back to its default values every time you plug in. So anytime you shut this thing off and turn it back on, it always goes back to LiPo 3 cell and 1 amp, which is pretty annoying because if you're not using that, um, every time you turn it on, you're going to have to go back and change the values to uh, what you want to do. There's no memory or anything. There's no profiles like some of the other chargers. This is a very basic charger, probably the simplest charger I own. Uh, doesn't do a whole lot, but let's kind of go through and show you what it's got. So hit the start button, and then these are all the different battery types it supports, lithium ion, life, lithium high voltage, which is really nice, uh, nickel metal hydride, nickel cadmium, and then lead acid. So go ahead and select that. Pick your cell count. I'm doing a 3S 8,000 milliamp hour battery, so I'm gonna go three cell uh, mode. So whenever you're charging, you should do balanced charge, um, but it's also got regular charge, discharge, storage mode, which is really nice because after you're done running, you should always go back to storage mode. 
and then fast charge. I, I'm not really sure what the difference is between charge and fast charge. They, always, they both seem to be one amp, but anyways, uh, so you go pick the mode you want. We're gonna do balance charge, and then you set your current. In this case, I'm gonna charge at eight amps because this does uh, 1C at 8,000 milliamp hours, which comes out to eight amps. It is nice, it has kind of these touch uh, buttons. All you do is just kind of touch them. You don't have to actually push on them. They're like capacitive uh, buttons. Um, so that's kind of cool actually. And then once you're done, you just hold down the start stop button and then it starts charging. So um, very basic charger. Uh, doesn't, it's, kind of, it's pretty much a no frills charger. Uh, stuff I like about it is that it is quite cheap. 45 bucks is really inexpensive. It's also really high power. 220 amps means you can do a 6S battery at 8 amps, which is really fast for uh, this type of uh, charger. Um, downsides are it's really, really basic. As you can see, it's no frills. Uh, the, there's no cables included, right? You'll have to supply your own. And then you also obviously have to get an external power supply. This is DC only. Um, but some nice things are, you know, it would probably make a pretty good field charger because you could just hook this up to like a car battery and charge off of that. It's really small and portable. Um, yeah, so I, I think one who this is targeted at is probably just like field people. Maybe you want something really small to carry out there. The other person I think this would be good for is if you're on a tight budget and you're running 6S batteries, this is probably the cheapest way you can charge a 6S battery at like eight amps. I mean, there's no other way I think to get something this powerful for less money. You can pick up the power supply for 55 bucks. You can pick up the charger for 45 bucks for about hundred dollars. You can have a 220 watt charger, which uh, I don't think there's anything out there that competes in that price range. The other cool thing you could do is actually get one of these power supplies. It's actually got three plugs, so you can hook up three different power supplies. So you can buy three of these, buy one uh, power supply, and you could be charging three 6S batteries at eight amps. So basically three 6S batteries all at the same time in under an hour and be good to go. So if you're only running 6S and you want a cheap way to charge all those all at the same time, this is probably your best bet. Um, and those are kind of the two areas I think I would consider picking this up for. Otherwise, it is a little bit inconvenient. You know, you do have to carry around a different power supply if you're not running the field. Um, maybe not, not very many features, it's just super basic. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's my review of the Sky RC B6 Lite. Uh, hope you enjoyed this review. Please like, share, subscribe, uh, hit the add notification button, and look for more videos soon.